Hello guys and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Multiplayer. Today my friends, I've got a reactive camera that I want to try and make a video on for you all today. Hopefully I won't suck when I try and record this video. Um, but Asitas, this is the Party Rock reactive camo for the Sorg 9mm. Obviously you can use this reactive camo on any weapon Let's within go. the game. Um, especially with obviously with the update that allowed you to use them on every single weapon within the game without obviously unlocking gold camo for the weapons. In the previous update that you used to have, you had to get a gold camo unlocked for a weapon and then you can use different reactive camos for it. But now you can just stick them on any weapon that you like. But the default weapon that they did advertise for this camo on was the Sorg and I thought, do you know what? Gives me an excuse to use this weapon. And I did have to buy this off the black market, believe it or not. And I'm not going to say to you guys, you know, spend your money on these things. You know what I mean? I'm doing it because I like to make videos on this sort of thing for you all. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do all the Mastercraft camos and the signature and um, variants and, you know, Mark II variants and stuff. I, so I will go out the way and buy these things. I don't like doing it. I'm not going to lie because there's a lot of great content within Black Ops 4 that is locked behind a paywall. And I'm not going to lie, guys. It does suck. It really does suck. But Asita's, I do like these camos, so... Fortunately for me, Asita's, you know, I'm going to spend my money on these things. But obviously if you do want to spend money on these things, that is down to your own, you know, your own choices on that one. I'm not going to say to you guys, oh yeah, do it, it's the best thing ever. Because, you know, you know, I'm not going to falsely advertise these things to you and say they're the greatest things ever. Just so then you go and spend money on them. Like, if you like them, you buy them. If you don't want to, I respect that, you know what I mean? I know some people who play Call of Duty games and they don't even spend them, not even a penny on the game. Like, they'll just buy the game and they won't buy a season pass, they won't buy anything off the stores or nothing. But obviously, I'm, you know, I'm a dedicated Call of Duty player, so I'm going to buy camos and stuff. But the other things I do buy off the black market, in case you're curious on what I buy, is I buy, obviously, the blackout characters when they come on there on bundles. I buy weapons if they get advertised on there. Like, I am a sucker who brought that $30... Uh, melee weapon, which I did not like doing whatsoever, but obviously it had its perks and its disadvantages to it, you know what I mean, I brought the melee weapon and it came with um, tiers and crates, which obviously were me being way over the 100 marker on the contraband stream, technically I got like 20 supply drops out of that and a mark 2 crate as well, so, you know what I mean, I saw the advantages of that, but at the same time, I wasn't happy about spending money on it, if there's an option to grind for these sorts of things, you know I'd be grinding for him, like I did in World War 2. But, it sucks guys, you know what I mean? It sucks. It's just the way, you know, the business model works for this game. But unfortunately, I can't do nothing to change that. I, if I could, I would. But it's just one of them things. But let me know down below in the comment section, have you brought anything off the black market within Call of Duty Black Ops 4? Yeah, have you brought any camos, blackout characters or anything? Don't be ashamed if you have, okay? Don't be ashamed. You know, I mean, I'm a sucker for it all the time. Every time I see a new camo or a blackout character, I always buy it. You know what I mean? I, I do play a bit of Blackout here and there off camera and stuff. I'm not that good at Blackout, but I do have me okay games. But I buy them because at the end of the day, it's it's one of the things. If you guys wanted Blackout videos, I could I could make them then. You know what I mean? I've got different characters to choose. You know what I mean? I've got the replacer and stuff and all that. Lot. He's going to walk around that corner? No, he's not. No, he's not. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think of this camo, guys? What do you think of this reactor camo? Do you use this on your weapons if you brought the camo? We have the advantage. Right, let's get this down. Looks pretty alright, though. The different forms of the weapon, when you, like the different stages of the reactor camo, look pretty deep, like proper nice. It's a very unique sort of design. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You lost the advantage. Tell you what, though, this is a gun I don't tend to use much, but it's an okay gun. I think the only SMGs mainly I use in this game, like off camera, I tend to use the MX9 quite a bit. Um, sometimes the GKS, but not that often. Obviously, speaking of SMGs, I do need to still do the um, Switchblade X9. So that's going to be a bit of a tricky one to do. 
Um, because I know a lot of people have been telling me that um, <laughs> the Switchblade X9 is not a good gun. Like, a lot of people have been saying the gun is absolutely terrible, which I'm not looking forward to going for a gold camo for it, but if it is terrible, of course. If it's really good, then obviously it's going to be a bonus, but people have been telling me it's not that good. So it's like, I'm kind of dreading it a little bit. But I will do it, guys. You know what I mean? It's a weapon in the game. I did it with the SWAT. I did it with the Damon. 3xp I will be doing it with the obviously the switchblade We've lost the lead. so make sure you look out for that in the near future Ooh, can you hear people where the hell is everybody enemy UAV above Come on, bro, I shot you. Did you see that then, guys? Literally, I shot him then. He should have died. Nice. That was absolute BS, literally. I, I shot him clean on. Come on, we can do this. Nice. Just keep pushing. Obviously, I do roll quite a lot with the suppressor on this weapon. It's pretty good. It is a good gun as long as you've got the right attachments on it and, you know, you're a, you've got the right sort of play style for it. Like me, I've always been a running gunner, so SMGs are a running gunner sort of thing, you know what I mean? Especially for hardcore. I want to try and uh, make my result a lot more better at the moment. I want to try and push my KD a little bit higher. My KD's been going up and down quite a lot recently, like literally it's been all over the place. I'm still on positive, in case you were wondering, um, but it's been going you know, up and down quite a lot because obviously I've been using weapons that I'm not a fan of or I'm not that good with, and you know I'm trying to. Gr I've been doing a lot of grinding on this game just to get these cameras. Like it's been times when I've gone to work absolutely shattered just because I want to try and record these videos for you all, just so you can see them. You know what I mean? I'll I push myself and push myself even more and more and more. Um, just to try and do more videos for you all, as well as work, you know what I mean, and stuff, so. I'm always a busy guy. I may not see me, but I am. I'm always a busy guy. So, it's just one of the things, and obviously, every day I'm also recording stuff and planning stuff for my second channel as well, so you guys can see videos on that when the channel goes live. So, it's, it's something I'm looking forward to showing you guys in the future. Nice. Don't know what the hell that guy was doing then. Is there any enemies in here? Ooh, I think I saw someone. Nice. Come on, where are they? <laughs> Absolutely slain them, boys. Alright, care package. UAV. He was going to take me down there, but lucky for me, I had him. Fair play. I literally thought I was a goner then. Right. Here we go. So I have another one then. <laughs> Destroy my first one, I have another one. It's on the house. Got a Mantis. A mantis is coming to town, boys, literally. I absolutely love that thing. It's like a little mini spider bot thing, in case you have obviously aren't aware of it. Um, mantises are just insane. I remember at launch, they did have a couple of problems, like going through certain areas and going through certain doorways. They get stuck and stuff, but now they're just beast. It's like my little spider bot. Go on, mantis. Do it! It's even better as well when I've got um, Juno out as well. When you play as Nomad and get Juno out with it, get a Mantis in the game or maybe a Stride team, you just absolutely dominate. 30 and 11, 2.73 KD ratio for the game. I'd take that, I will take it. It was an alright result. This is when I got that cheeky little uh, two piece. Just, but. 
Let me know of your overall thoughts, guys, of the Party Rock reactive camo in Psychology of Black Ops 4. Do you like it? Do you not? Have you brought it or didn't you get it at all? Or did you just give it a miss because you're not interested in then the black, black, black market content in the game? Let me know down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time on another brand new video. Take care and hope you all have a marvellous day.